the land explorers had a very historic day when they dug up their very own dinosaur. Although it was a fake dinosaur, the kids involved in the project had the first-hand experience to find out what it was like to find a piece of history. Central Florida News 13 Silky Replay was there for the big event. The kids climbing all over this pile of sand are on a mission. For hours, they dug through this pile to find hidden dinosaur bones. Sarah and Carlene were on the excavation team. She dug a little, and I dug a whole bunch, and I took a lot. I, I know. The project was all part of April and Don Brunning's Dino Diggers. They buried the dinosaur bones in the sand for the kids to find to give them a more exciting way to learn about these amazing creatures. And in under just two hours of time, the kids dug up all the bones in this pile of sand and created this, their own Tyrannosaurus Rex. Each child was given their very own hard hat and digging kit and they went to work. And for some of those we talked to, this has been a lifelong dream. Dug it up with my brother and we found the bottom job. But for others, the fun was all in the dirt. I love digging. What do you but, love so much about digging? Um, you get to get dirty. You get to get dirty a whole bunch and I like being dirty and I like being barefoot. All the kids involved learned about the history of dinosaurs and how they became extinct and some learned a little bit more. What did you learn about dinosaurs today? Um, that they're really hard to get out of the sea. Yes. And who knows, maybe a future archaeologist will be part of this group. Something you think you might want to do when you grow up? Dig up dinosaurs all day? Uh-uh. No. How come? Because it's like too much hard work. In the land, Silky Reblay, Central Florida News 13. Finally tonight, did you know dinosaurs never roamed through Florida? That's because the Sunshine State used to be underwater, so no dinosaur bones here. But a DeLand man decided he'd give local kids the thrill of the dig anyway. Here's VNN's Melanie Whitley to show you what they uncovered. These kids are digging and digging and digging their way into one of the biggest unknown territories in life. What's left of dinosaurs? More than 60 young people are now paleontologists known as dino diggers. We're trying to brush this, this bone out. But it's not all fun and games. Well, I like working hard and this is really hard work. The kids have two hours to sift through dirt and find 39 bones of a T-Rex. We, we don't know what it is yet, but we keep on getting closer and closer. Well, they're almost there. I, we have to go deeper and deeper to get this. Um, We're going to go deeper and deeper to get around this thing. But in order for these kids to dig up the dinosaur bones, they had to read 10 books in the month of July. There's a lot of things to learn about the world before we were here. So it teaches them about Florida, it teaches them about history, it teaches them about body structure of animals, lots of things. They also had the chance to make a clay bowl from clay that's more than 1,000 years old. And they made a T-Rex tooth from a replica. And it's all thanks to Dino Dan. And I, as a kid, I was so enthralled by dinosaurs that I said, you know what? I've got to find a way to dig up a dinosaur. Put it in my backyard, maybe a T-Rex or a, a Patasaurus or a Triceratops. And I decided to make my own dinosaur skeleton based on a very famous skeleton up in Chicago, Sue. And now that fascination has developed into a business for kids all across the country to enjoy. After the digging was over, they put the T-Rex together. It stands 12 feet high, and the kids felt that tall, too. In Mount Dora, Melanie Whitley, VNN. Now, one of the main points Dino Dan stressed, in order to collect fossils, you have to obtain a permit. So don't go digging up bones in your backyard.